My World Dies Screaming, 1958, also known as Terror in the Haunted House, is a psychological horror film that blends elements of suspense, mystery, and the supernatural. The story follows newlywed couple Philip and Sheila Justin, who, after their marriage, embark on a journey to Sheila's childhood home, a mansion that she inherited but has no memory of from the start. Sheila is troubled by recurring nightmares involving a sinister house, with ominous visions of a foreboding staircase, a creepy attic, and a sense of overwhelming dread. Despite her fears, Philip insists that they visit the house, hoping that confronting her fears will help her overcome them. When the couple arrives at the mansion, Sheila is shocked to discover that it is the very house from her nightmares. The house, secluded and eerie, seems to exert a malevolent influence over her, bringing her dreams to life in terrifying ways. Philip, however, dismisses her fears, attributing them to nerves and the stress of their recent marriage as they settle in, strange and unexplained events begin to unfold. Sheila's sense of unease deepens as she experiences ghostly apparitions and eerie noises throughout the house. The once familiar surroundings of her childhood become increasingly hostile and threatening, heightening her anxiety. The presence of the housekeeper, Jonah, who has been caring for the house for years, adds to the unsettling atmosphere. His cryptic and ominous behavior further fuels Sheila's suspicions that something is very wrong. The tension escalates as Sheila starts to uncover disturbing clues about her past. She learns that she had repressed memories of living in the house as a child and that a terrible tragedy occurred there. Her parents died under mysterious circumstances, and she was the sole survivor. The house seems to be trying to reveal these hidden truths to her, but the more she learns, the more her sanity unravels. Philip's motives are gradually called into question as well. Sheila begins to suspect that he might have ulterior motives for bringing her to the house. His increasingly strange behavior and secretive actions make her wonder if he is part of a larger, more sinister plan. The sense of isolation and paranoia grows as Sheila feels trapped, unable to trust even her husband. The film's climax comes when Sheila, pushed to the brink of madness, confronts Philip and the terrible secrets of the house. In a shocking twist, it is revealed that Philip had been manipulating Sheila all along, using her psychological vulnerability to drive her insane. He had planned to have her committed to an asylum, enabling him to inherit her fortune however, the house itself intervenes. The supernatural forces within the mansion, which have been tormenting Sheila throughout the film, ultimately turn against Philip. In a dramatic and terrifying sequence, the house's malevolent spirits drive Philip to his death, Fulfilling the curse that has haunted the mansion for years, I end the end, Sheila is freed from both the physical and psychological terror of the house. As she leaves the mansion, she is finally able to confront and overcome her traumatic past. The film concludes on an ambiguous note, leaving viewers to question whether the events were the result of supernatural forces or Sheila's fragile mental state. My World Dies Screaming is noted for its use of psychorama, a gimmick that attempted to heighten the audience's sense of fear through subliminal images and sound effects, creating an atmosphere of intense psychological terror. The film's blend of psychological horror and supernatural elements makes it a unique and memorable entry in the genre. There are thousands more great videos like this on the channel. Please take a look, share and subscribe or visit the Bonswivit shop on eBay which has over a quarter of a million rare and collectible items listed.